welcome back to another video on this video we're gonna be trying out a demon slayer game this demon slayer game doesn't really have that much players as you can see right here it has 117 players but apparently this game is really good like i was scrolling around on youtube and i found this video right here top five demon slayer games on roblox in my opinion by golden dynasty and i pressed play on the video it wasn't number one but it was number five he puts this demon slayer game called uh slayer's legacy and this game doesn't really look that bad if you look right here um this is gameplay right here and this is one of the dungeons that they have and this looks really cool and it's like a boss fight this game has really cool bosses he said like the game mechanics and all that isn't like all the way up there compared to other demon slayer games but the boss feature is still really cool this is the drum demon that he's fighting i don't know why that npc looks like that that looks really plain but still this place looks pretty cool honestly so yeah if you guys want to go check out his uh top five demon slayer games you can go watch his video the link's gonna be down below in the description or in the comment section one of them but yeah we're gonna be trying out this game today he said it's very underrated so i'm gonna test it out and see how underrated it is if there's any other demon slayer game or any game in general you guys want me to check out make sure you guys comment them down below because i'm always looking for new games to play on the channel and like new games to add to the rotation so yeah you never know which game i might like or don't like so depending on if i like this game this video might go up or even if i don't like this game and if i have fun i still might upload this video but if this game is just complete doo-doo water like complete garbage i'm probably not even gonna upload this video you're not even gonna see this but let's see what happens all right enhanced ears what the heck is this store game pass gives you legit esp <laughs> okay uh what is this this is a uh, customizable katana um okay enhanced uh nose what's tanjiro spec okay and umbra what is this allows demon to walk under the sun oh okay so yeah basic game passes to just help you enhance your play style or whatever you're doing in the game all right um the only game pass i might actually buy is enhanced ears because legit esp is pretty good dude if i can find demons with just my ears that sounds pretty solid to me looks like something that can help you grind but we're not gonna buy any of that yet uh let's just play the game all right so we're gonna make a vip server we're gonna title it um i don't know what i'm doing and buy now and let's get started playing the game as always make sure you guys the sub button on this video we're at 255k subs 5k subs away from 260k we're literally so close to 300k subs so yeah please hit the sub button like this video and let's get into the gameplay okay game looks pretty good scenery looks pretty nice depth of view you can see all that trees look solid all right so pretty sure this game is not even gonna be that bad i don't know why it has such low players but let me see um they have a trello blah 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 these are the controls i'm gonna move this to my left monitor um scripter blah 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 nothing important all right pvp Ooh, the game has pvp that's a good sign reset breathing new game uh new game because i've never played this game wait whoa <laughs> to, to, to start a new game you have to pay robux that's crazy that is ridiculous all right press play all right um that is not a good thing the fact that you have to pay robux to reset your data is uh yikes all right, this animation looks pretty weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, can I mute the music? Cause I do not want to listen to any of that. I can't mute the music. Oh, that is not a good sign. Oh wait, no. There's a command in the description of the game. Music off. There we go. Epic. Okay, so um, we just spawned into the game. What the hell? I don't know what to do. Uh, this is a katana on my character. This is not a katana on my hill. This is my UGC item right here. Uh, so where do I go? The game literally does not tell you where to go at the start um like usually with demon slayer games they start you off and like they tell you how to play and whatnot this game they literally just threw you in to just go and survive <laughs> something like rogue lineage they literally just threw you in so what am i supposed to do like there's no npcs for me to talk to i gotta just like explore around and look around i keep thinking i can talk to npcs but then like when i try clicking on them i punch them oh my god what on earth am i supposed to be doing in this game bro holy crap <laughs> i guess do we just start out and just find a place that you get a katana and then go get a breathing style or i don't know final selection or something is that a merchant over there let me go talk to that guy all right so an npc i can finally talk to do you want to travel somewhere for 25 yen at 50 yen uh kanoha village or yukino village okay i don't think i'm gonna waste my money just yet i'm just gonna explore around buildings look nice but the water looks really plain or maybe i'm just used to like deep Wilkins water or something and we're at the wilderness now huh i'm not a fan about the fact that the game just literally throws you in not knowing what to do what is this dude i can teach you karate for 150 yen no i do not want to learn karate what am I supposed to do? This is probably why this game doesn't have that much players. They don't tell you what to do at all. I mean, if it's like a rogue lineage type game, of course, it's not going to tell you what to do or like a survival based game. But this is a demon slayer game. I thought this was just like for casual players. 
Oh, we're at the Butterfly Mansion now. Okay, that's why there's some stereo trees here. Let me see if I can learn any information about the game here. I might just have to blow up the trouble because this is not going anywhere. And I don't want to waste time, like, taking, like, three hours running around the damn map. I don't feel like doing that crap. All right, so, okay. Hi. Hello. Wait, what? She doesn't say anything to you. Uh, she doesn't say anything at all. <laughs> okay, there's a katana right here. Can't pick this up. Uh, there's a gourd right here. I can't pick that up either. <laughs> Compared to other Demon Slayer games, this game is definitely not off to a good start because I do not know what to do. Oh, it's a demon right here. Okay. Combat's a three-hit knockback? Okay, that's interesting. Never seen a combat like that before. I don't even know if I can even kill this since I don't have a katana, but we're gonna see what happens. Uh, demon doesn't even have a phase, bro. <laughs> this demon can't even fight back. I'm literally just infinite comboing it. Okay, can I grip it? Okay, that... <laughs> What the hell? That is a that is a questionable animation, I guess. Dude, that thing had no sound, and the Q dashing in this game has no sound either. You don't even roll for the animation. That's pretty lazy. But hey, I, I'm starting to see why this game doesn't have much players compared to other Demon Slayer games. The effort and quality of this Demon Slayer game isn't really that up there. But I said I was gonna try out the game, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let me just pull up the Trello. Okay, here it is. Um, how to get breathing style. You need to be Kanoda Rink to get your first skill of a breathing style. And Kanoe to get your second or third skill. Oh, okay. What rank am I? No rank. Epic. <laughs> okay, uh, how to be a slayer. To be a demon slayer, you have to spawn at Statue Village. Grab a katana located at the base of statue. Head to the Wisteria trees. They're the pink and purple trees. Once there, head to the final selection NPC and interact with him to start the final selection. Alright, so the final selection, you have to kill 15 demons and survive for two days. So yeah. This Demon Slayer game, um, I thought it was going to be a game where like you get your breathing style first and then do the final selection like the show, but I guess they want you to do the final selection first. I guess, whatever. And these are breathing styles that are in the game. Um, I'm probably just going to go water or something. Why does Tokuto's face look like this? What the? Okay, that's creepy. Her face looks like this too. Oh my god, these faces. Oh, some of these NPCs, they just stopped putting faces on these NPCs. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, um, I want to get moon breathing because it's moon breathing, but I doubt I'll be able to. So let's just get water breathing, just call it. Okay, so I got to find uh, the final selection place. So I guess I should just reset till I spawn at Statue Village. Nope, I can't even reset. Okay, yes, I can. My head just popped off my head. <laughs> My head just popped off my torso. What the hell? Okay, this is Yukino Village. Um, I don't know if I want to be here. Uh, that's why the game doesn't really tell you what to do. There's multiple villages that you can spawn at. And I can't even talk to this guy. Whatever. All right, let me just reset again. My head's going to pop off my torso again. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, Yukino Village. Okay, here we are. There's a katana right here. Can I buy this? Do you want to buy this old katana for 65 yen? I only have 50. Bro, y'all are trolling me. Okay, uh, I can't talk to this guy. Um, there's nothing in here. What is this? Oh, it's just a painting on the wall. That's a pickaxe. Can I buy the pickaxe? I can't buy the pickaxe. I have no money, dude. Wait, this is the same place I just left. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Why does the game not give you a katana at the start? Like, I can't buy this. I only have 50 and not 65. I killed a demon earlier, but I didn't get no money. So, let me just reset and see all the spawns. Yeah, this was where we were earlier. Are there only two spawns? Or maybe there's a third one. I'm just getting unlucky. Because in the Trello, it did say you have to spawn at Statue Village. Nagato Village again. Okay, I'm just going to keep resetting until I spawn at Statue Village. So, bear back. Bro, it says katanas on the thing, on items. Big Village has the katana and Statue Village has the katana. But it doesn't even spawn you at any of these villages. Like, I've been trying to reset and spawn there, but, like, I literally can't. Like, you, you just don't spawn at those villages. You, you just don't. So now, what I have to do is just run around the map aimlessly till I finally get to that village. That's crazy. All right. I'm just going to jump cut this. Be right back. All right. Fast forward the next day. I'm not going to lie. I literally got off the game. Like, <laughs> I ran around for, like, an hour. Or no, not, it wasn't even an hour. It was, like, 45 minutes or, like, 30 minutes. And it was just, like... It was so boring that I, I just got off the game. Like, I'm going to come back and attempt to keep filming this video, but, like, I am not enjoying my time so far. Like, I quite literally got off the game and went to go record a whole different video, which is probably the video that's going to go up after this or before this, depending on if I uploaded it first or not. But, yeah, I literally just went to go record a whole different game because this game literally just threw me off. 
All right, okay, we're in game. Uh, we somehow found the final selection place, but I don't even know how we're gonna do this with no katana. And I bought the two game passes just to test them out and see what they did. The smell one doesn't seem to work, but the hair one does. Um, as you can see, there's like a yellow outline if I'm looking at someone through a wall or something, but yeah, there's that. And I can't even do the final selection until nighttime, so bear it back. Okay, here we are. Can we go in now? Do you wish to enter the final selection? Yes, I do. Okay, final selection with no katana. Let's go. <laughs> This is such a stupid idea, dude. I heard you can cheese this final selection, though. You're like, you don't have to fight any of the demons, so... I'm probably just about to find a tree and just sit on top of it. Because, like, I do not want to fight any of these demons. I mean, the Trello did say I have to, but, like... There's two different Trellos, so like I'm so confused. There's this Trello and this one. I'm pretty sure this is the real one right here, but I could be wrong. This one looks so goofy that like I honestly do not think this is the real Trello. I'm pretty sure this one is. But even if on this one it doesn't say anything about uh, you having to kill the demons. On this Trello, which I don't think is real, it says, um, uh, where does it say it? It says kill 15 demons and survive for two days. Yeah, I don't think that's the real Trello. I'm pretty sure this is the real one, but let's just um, look for some demons, I guess. There's a demon right there. I can hear it. Even though it's standing still, <laughs> you can still hear it. <laughs> that makes so much sense. Okay. Um, I'm probably just going to beat on this thing until it dies. And they don't really fight back. And NPCs in this game are not as smart as the NPCs in the other Demon Slayer games, but... Hey, it is what it is, bro. All right, so I'm probably going to jump cut this because this is going to take a long time since I'm using... Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Look at that weird animation. <laughs> oh, my God. That's one demon down and 14 to go. Let's go. Ah, perfect. There's another NPC right there. I don't know why it's not yellow yet. Damn, you have to get really close for it to, like, pop up as yellow. That kind of defeats the purpose of having this NPC game pass. But it is what it is, dude. Like, as you can see, like, when I was far away, you could not see it highlighting yellow. But, I mean, I guess it helps since you can see them through walls, though, so. It's like, it would help in a place like a cave or something. If you're in a cave, this game pass would be clutch. But this smell one, I have no use for that so far. Alright, that's two demons down. See, look at it. There's two demons right there, right? Like, they're not highlighted yellow, even if I'm looking at them through walls. Like, you can see the hair. I have the hair thing selected. Like, you can see my screen's, like, faded black a little bit. As I get close, then you can see them yellow. That kind of defeats the purpose of the game pass. You get what I mean? It's kind of like, I don't know, whatever. Maybe I'm just molding. All right, let's kill this one. I don't want to get too close to that NPC over there because if I aggro both of them, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, wait. What? I finished it? Are you serious? I even finished doing everything. What? Do you wish to take the outfit? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't even finish the entire final selection. I only got to kill like two or three demons. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> okay. <laughs> whatever. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I mean, actually, I shouldn't be complaining. I should be worried because that is ridiculous that I finished that that fast, but whatever. All right, so let's just follow this icon, and I'm pretty sure uh, we go use the aura to make our sword there. So let's go uh, over there now. Most Demon Slayer games, there's like, just a katana in the starter town, but with this one, you can spawn at different starter towns, and then like from that starter town, you just find your way to the final selection place. And then after you do final selection, um... Well, I don't know what's after that because I'm literally at that spot after that. <laughs> so, I guess you just go turn this ore in and then you should be able to make your katana. Do I have to go through this cave? I think I do. Okay. Uh, what is this? What? Um, okay. You don't wall jump in this game. You have to hold T if I'm correct. Okay, so I gotta just kind of like parkour. I go from here to over there. Wow, that is a... Uh, kind of large jump but i'm pretty sure i can make it so i'm just gonna hold t and then there we go okay q dash all right some little minor parkour in this game what i can't make that jump are you serious hold on there we go there we go okay i got a q dash all right swordsmith village all right so this village is called swordsmith village because you make your sword here of course all right uh where's the icon oh the icon's right there okay so i gotta talk to this guy and uh, I'm working right now. Don't interrupt me. Can you forge me a Nitrin blade? Huh? You want to forge a Nitrin blade? Yes, I do. Duh. All right. Hand over your Scarlet Crimson Ore. All right. Here you are. All right. So I got me a katana. Uh, this kind of looks plain. I think I should probably rejoin and see if it like rose the color or something. I'm just gonna do that. But actually, no. I don't want to rejoin just yet because if I rejoin, I'm not gonna spawn here, or at least I don't think I'm gonna spawn here. What is this guy? How can I help you? Customize my character. All right. Uh, I have nothing to customize my character with. <laughs> okay. Is there any other NPC in this town? I don't think there is. I think we just go get a breathing style now. 
Um, yeah, there's only one NPC here. Oh, wait, there's another NPC in here. Okay. These are Tasubas. These are for your, like, sword hilts and stuff. And you can roll some blades, too. Uh, white gold Tasuba. Uh, let me see. Oh, I want to buy a customizable katana. Oh, it's a game pass. I don't want to buy that. Like, I, I really don't. Now I'm just going to run around every, uh, house to see if there's any other extra NPCs in here. Because I don't want to miss a thing. All right, I rejoined, and we did not spawn at the same place, did we? Yeah, we didn't. Damn. Okay. Uh, now I gotta go find a breathing style, I guess. Uh, I really wanted my sword to be different, but I didn't buy the game pass, so I can't even customize it. So let's take a look at the Trello and see where the water breathing trainer is. Uh, Tanjiro. Wait, this is a boss. Whoops. All right, Slayer water breathing. All right, six forms available. All right, costs a hundred per skill. Got to learn it from a Rokodaki. Okay. Uh, where is he at? It's located in the mountain near Yukino Village and Konoha Village. Teaches the player water breathing. All right, so I gotta find this mountain. So. Uh, I guess we just gotta do that. Be right back. All right, so my friend said I should enter this building right here and then go fight the boss because apparently it gives a lot of EXP and I don't even need my breathing style to do it, so. Mysterious house, here we go. Okay, uh, is this the right room? I'm already getting confused and I literally just entered it. Oh, it's right here. Leave the house? No, I don't wanna leave the house. Okay, this is it. Uh, touch the wall, yes. All right, okay, so there's some demons right here. And, uh, thank God the M1s in this game, you can hit multiple people with them. Because if it was just single target, when you use one slash, that would be very annoying. But, it's actually not too bad in this game. Because the combat on this game doesn't really look that, like, complex. But, alright, let me grip both of these. There we go. Alright, they're both dead. Alright, uh, which room do I go to? Oh, it's that one. Okay, that was weird. Oh, there's three demons now. Alright, this isn't too hard. Probably just gonna keep M1ing them and circling around them because that's pretty much like the best way to do this, honestly. Because as you can see, uh, you get on a little bit of like a cooldown there after an M1 combo, like you can't click for a while, it's like end lag or whatever. And I think that's all of them. Okay, those ones are way easier to kill than the first ones, I think. I'm literally moving while gripping. What the hell? All right, there you go. Uh, which direction do we go? Is it over here or oh my god, I was loud. Uh, which way do we go? Does it matter? I don't think it does or it probably does because this is like a little maze at this uh, point okay what the hell are those tra i don't think those are traps those are just teapots on the floor oh my god uh oh there's more demons here oh i gotta be careful because oh all right knock them all back I, yeah i gotta just circle around all these because if i don't i'm literally going to die and i don't want to die before i even get to the boss that would really suck all right this is going okay uh, i'm gonna run around a little bit Trying to cheese my way. All right, there we go. Yeah, I just got to keep m one all of them at the same time. Because if I don't, then uh, I'm going to be in a situation where one of them's alive attacking me. All right, let me grip them all. All right, that one's dead. There we go, this one's dead. So far, this Demon Slayer game doesn't look like a game I'd play again. I mean, I did say like I want to try out a lot of games that I don't really like for videos. Because people keep asking me to play the same games over and over. What? Oh. Here we are, we're at the boss. Oh, okay. This is the drum boss that I saw in the little video. Um, people keep asking me to play games that uh, I don't really play a lot, and games that I don't like, and this is one of the games where, like, typically I wouldn't play a game like this because I've played the game off camera. Well, I didn't play it or, like, progress or anything, but, like, I've saw gameplay of Dabble playing it, and, like, it didn't look like the type of Demon Slayer game I'd play, and this guy does some good damage, I'm not gonna lie. And he's fairly tanky, but I'm pretty sure I can beat this. He doesn't look unbeatable. Okay. Apparently, he does inverse your keys, though, so it's going to start getting annoying. Yeah, this guy's pretty squishy. There you go. My keys are inverted. Uh, is left click? Oh, okay. My mouse isn't inverted, but my keyboard keys are inverted. Oh, my God. Bro, that's kind of irritating. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that is very irritating. Okay, there you go. My keys are not inverted anymore. Oh, my God. That's so annoying. <laughs> Oh, okay, my keys are inverted. Bro, I literally can't even go to him. Uh, it doesn't even, like, indicate that your keys are, like, back to normal because your screen is literally the same through the entire time. <laughs> it just keeps knocking you up. Oh, my God. That is quite annoying. Okay, there you go. My keys are not inverted anymore. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, I want to do a lot of videos on games that I don't like. Games that I don't like, 
I can show you guys like my impressions of them and hopefully the developer like watches the game and they know why I don't like the game. Obviously, if I don't like a game, they don't have to change their game. Like I, they don't have to change it at all. Like even if this game, this game, I'm not really liking it that much. Well, the start was pretty garbage. I'm not gonna lie. Cause like, if you don't know what you're doing with this Demon Slayer game, you, you, you just, it's, it's like you literally just run on the map aimlessly, which is probably why the game doesn't have that much players. Cause Roblox is like, doesn't really have that much players that like, oh my God. Roblox has a lot of kid players, and like, if a kid player were playing this, they probably would not be smart enough to like go look for the Trello or look for a starter guide, or maybe they will. I don't know, but like, the reason why this game probably doesn't have that much players, I have no clue. It probably just isn't as fun as other Demon Slayer games. That's probably my that because that's my reason right now. I wouldn't play this game again because the game isn't as fun as other Demon Slayer games. And like, it doesn't really look is good or like the quality is nowhere near as other demon slayer games like demon fall i know that game's not out yet but why would i play that over this i mean why would i play this over that my bad or demon slayer rpg why would i play this over that or wisteria wisteria that's been out for a while too those demon slayer games are just like way better than this and this guy keeps inverting my keys it's kind of annoying dude and i gotta eat on a game bro i'm literally right next to him but yeah uh, my goal playing games that I don't really like a lot is that the owner will watch the game They'll get my feedback and probably fix their game a little bit Obviously not every developer is gonna like the fact that I don't like their game, but there's not every game like, I, I can't like every game on Roblox. It's not every game that I like like typically games that I don't play a lot or games that I don't like. It was a whole bunch of front page simulator anime games. I, I don't really like games like that I mean I dabble in a few gacha games because gacha games are quite fun and addicting like um what is that game called anime mania that game is like um one piece uh oh my god this is so annoying there you go oh my lord because that one anime mania game is like one piece burning blood or whichever one piece game that's like the hack and slash i'm pretty sure it is burning blood i haven't played any of the one piece games uh in the burning blood series but one piece uh burning blood is pretty much anime mania or Anime Mania is pretty much One Piece burning. Oh my god, this is so annoying. I'm gonna eat my own Nagiri before I end up dying. No hunger. But One Piece burning blood is pretty much... Oh my god, I'm literally gonna die to this guy at this point. Because he just keeps inverting my keys. I, I literally cannot get to him. This is so annoying. And it's like, I, I can't even block that or anything. Come on. Oh my god, this is actually irritating. I actually might end up losing this. Bro, this is so annoying. I ran out of hunger, so I'm not healing anymore. Oh, my keys are not inverted anymore, but he keeps spam lifting me. All right, there we go. Come on. I got to kill this guy now. Come on. Okay, he's, he's, he's fairly low. And he's lifting me up with him. Come on. Bro, I'm trying. Oh, my Lord. He went to the other side of the stage again. He's going to invert my keys. Yeah, he inverted my keys. Ugh. This is so annoying. I might have to just... I think I have a strategy for this. I'm going to circle around that one. Okay, yeah, it literally, like, there's just four tiles on each, and it just lifts a random one. And if I, yeah, if I stand on both, it's gonna lift both of them. <laughs> oh, my God, this is so irritating. He's so low, too. All right, there we go. Oh, my God, he just almighty pushed me. <laughs> like, what is that about? Bro, why does he hit you while you're hitting him? <laughs> okay, please die. Come on. He's so low. Come on. Oh, he's spamming. Homie's going stupid on me. Bro, you're literally low. Just die already. I swear if I lose this, I am literally going to lose this. That's crazy. I'm quite literally going to lose this. Come on. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. All right, GG's. Holy crap. I almost lost that. But yeah, my goal playing it. Bro, is he not dead yet? Are you serious? He's not dead yet. I just... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> that is so troll. I thought he was dead already because he was literally knocked. Like, I had to go grip him. <laughs> he's using skills while he's not okay yeah I, I had my feel for this game this game it, it's it's not bad but like it's not good at the same time like I, I it's not a game i'd play over like any of those other demon slayer games like i said but yeah this game it's okay you can play it if you want but me personally i i wouldn't play this game like it's good for I, i'm trying to say i want to say it's good for what it is but like it's not because there's games that are just like it that do way better but it, it, it's there. It's just a Demon Slayer game that's there. If you want to play it, go ahead and play it and grind it out if you want to. But I wouldn't play this over any of the other Demon Slayer games because those ones are just way better than this. But that's just my opinion. You obviously don't have to listen to me. Like, I'm not bashing the game at all or anything. I'm just playing games I don't like now just to give feedback to developers to fix it or just improve the game as a whole. But yeah, this game, I wouldn't play it. The quality is nowhere near as the other ones. That's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Take care.